quick question. Have you ever asked a chatbot something and felt like the answer was just off or maybe outdated? Even the smartest AI can miss the mark sometimes because it doesn't always have the latest information. But what if I told you there's a cool way to fix that? A way that lets AI not just pull information from one place but from lots of places. Kind of like having a whole team of experts ready to jump in and help. That's what Agentic Rag is all about. It's a next level approach that's making AI way smarter and more useful. So in this video, we'll walk you through what it is, how it works and why it matters, step by step, no fluff. But before we jump in, I have a quick information for you guys. So we are conducting an absolutely free masterclass where our experts will be guiding you through a proven three-step framework and help you get high paying jobs in the field of AI, machine learning, data science and generative AI. Our masterclasses have helped numerous individuals land their dream jobs, so you can give it a try by registering through the link given in the description below. As already mentioned earlier, it's absolutely free. So yes, without further delay, let's jump into our video. Now before we jump into Agentic RAG, let's quickly remind ourselves what RAG means. RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. Now what exactly is that? So imagine you're asking a chatbot a question, maybe something like, what's the latest price of Bitcoin? So a typical large language model like GPT has a ton of knowledge baked into it, but it only knows information up to the point it was last trained. So if Bitcoin's price changed yesterday, it might not know about it. And this is where RAG comes in. Instead of relying solely on the model's memory, RAG lets the model go out and fetch fresh relevant information from an external source which is usually a vector database. So this is a special kind of database that stores information in a way that makes it easy for the model to find what it needs based on similarity. So when you ask your question, the system first searches the vector database for relevant documents or data brings that information back and then the language model uses it to generate a much more accurate up-to-date answer. Now why is this important? Because it helps large language models stay relevant, accurate and useful, especially when dealing with specialized or constantly changing information. It's like giving your model a way to google stuff in real time. Now, Agentic RAG is an exciting extension of this idea. Traditional RAG usually works with one single vector database, one big pool of knowledge and one language model that generates the answer. But what if you have multiple sources of information? Maybe your company stores product information in one database, customer reviews in another and internal policies in a third. Or maybe you want different tools or agents that specialize in different tasks. That's where Agentic RAG comes in. It introduces the concept of agents. Think of these as little intelligent helpers or managers inside the system. So these agents decide which database or tool to use depending on the question you ask. So imagine you're at a busy help desk and instead of one person trying to answer everything, there are several specialists, one for billing questions, one for tech support and another for product information. So when a question comes in, the right specialist gets it. And Agentic RAG works in a similar way, routing queries smartly to the best knowledge source. So instead of one big database, you have multiple vector databases. And instead of just one model doing everything, you have agents coordinating the flow. Now let's break down the main parts that make Agentic RAG work. Number one is multiple vector databases. These are your different knowledge stores. Each can contain specialized information, like a database full of product manuals, another with user feedback or even legal documents. Number two, agents. These are like the decision makers or traffic controllers. When you ask a question, agents analyze it and decides which database to query. Number three, retriever tools. These are the systems that actually fetch the relevant information from the vector databases once the agent points them in the right direction. And then language models expand the role. So instead of just summarizing retrieved information from one source, the LLM now combines, interprets and generates answers from multiple sources sometimes even integrating information from various tools or databases. So now next, let me walk you through how this works step by step using a simple example. So imagine you're chatting with a customer support bot and you ask, can I return a product if I bought it online last week and what's the refund policy? And here's what happens. Number one, you input your question. Number two, the agent looks at your question carefully. It notices two things here. You're asking about a product return, which might be in the returns database and about the refund policy, which could be in the policies database. Number three, the agent decides to split the query and sends parts of it to the appropriate vector databases. One for returns information and one for policy documents. Then the retriever tools fetch relevant documents or data snippets from each database. 
and then the language model takes all this information understands it and creates clear helpful answer like you can use return products bought online within 14 days refunds are processed within 5 business days after we receive the product and if for some reason the agent can't find relevant information or maybe the return policy wasn't uploaded yet it might have a fallback plan for example it can answer based on its own general knowledge or escalate the query so the smart routing and retrieval process is what makes agentic rag so powerful so now let's move on to some of the advantages of using agentic rag and why it's better than the plain rag number 1 is dynamic routing so instead of searching blindly agents send your question to the most relevant knowledge sources saving time and improving accuracy number 2 better accuracy of course since each database is specialized the system pulls precise information rather than generic data and then scalability you can keep adding more databases or agents as your needs grow for example adding a new database for user manuals without disrupting existing ones flexibility agents can also integrate with different tools apis or processes making the system highly adaptable so now let's move on to some of the real life use cases of agentic rag Number 1 chatbots and customer service when companies have tons of segmented information like billing shipping technical support the chatbot can use agents to give accurate information from the right database then comes enterprise apps large organizations often have data siloed in different departments agentic rag can connect all those silos and intelligently route queries improving knowledge sharing also educational platforms Imagine a learning app that pulls from course content, FAQs and policy documents separately but presents unified relevant answers to students. So as you can see agentic AI and related fields have huge growth potential right now. And if you are interested in breaking into generative AI or the broader AI ML and data space, check out this video where we have shared a proven three-step framework to help you get started even as a beginner. and potentially earn even more than $250,000. So now let's move on to the tools and frameworks for building agentic rag. Number 1 is Langchain. So this framework lets you create chains of agents and connect language models with multiple knowledge sources. And then Langchain. This is a visualization and orchestration tool to manage how agents route queries. These frameworks help glue everything together, building agents that decides where to look, retrievers that fetch information and language models that combine it all now here are some tips for designing agentic rag systems a few tips if you plan to design one number 1 choose vector databases carefully they should be organized and focused so agents can decide easily build smart agents that truly understands your users questions the better they are at routing the better your answers and then regularly update retriever tools so they fetch the most relevant and recent information so now let's move on to some challenges and considerations Of course agentic rag isn't without challenges querying multiple databases and agents can slow down responses so latency needs careful management sometimes data from different sources might conflict your system needs rules to handle that gracefully agents need to be accurate in their decisions wrong routing means wrong answers so monitoring is key so all right that's a whole wrap on agentic rag Hopefully now you have a clearer picture of how this clever system makes AI smarter by connecting it to multiple knowledge sources and using agents to find the best answers. So if you found this video helpful or learned something new do subscribe for more such videos. Also if you are looking to get into the field of generative AI you can watch our video for a proper generative AI road map over here. Also by the way if you are looking to level up your career and land those high paying roles in AI machine learning or data science don't forget to check out the free masterclass link below. It's a great way to get expert guidance and a clear path towards your next job. So thanks for watching.